Hi, my name's Hugh Gunn from the Mini Specialist and today I'm going to take you around this 2010 Mini 1. It's the 1.6 petrol engine. Now this superseded the earlier 1.4 uh, engine in the Mini 1 and it's been detuned to 98 horsepower. Now that's pretty much comparable to the old 1.4 engine and what it effectively means is the load insurance group car. Let me take you around. So the bodywork is, it's not perfect. It's not bad, but it, there are a few bumps and bruises along the way. Now, wheel-wise, it's fantastic tread, and the wheel is unmarked. Uh, very good indeed. Now, it's also worth noting that these discs and pads have been recently replaced. There's a very little rim on there, but they're, they're actually not very old at all. Now, coming down the side, this door, I think, is, is fine. It's unmarked. And bodywork in all good condition here. This rear wheel, the rear wheel itself is fantastic and so is the tread. Now coming around, now there is a bit of a bruise here. There's dent and a bruise on this bumper area. Coming around, the, I think that's the only real mark on the bumper on the back of the car. So coming down the left hand side of the car now, this wheel absolutely i'd say it's perfect and the tire is superb now this is a scratch that's been the car suffered a scratch down here it's not major but it won't polish out it's actually gone reasonably deep and there's a couple of car park presents on this door I'm not sure if the video is going to show it, but there's a slight dent there and a slight dent there where some friendly uh, person in the car next door has opened their, their door into this one. Coming down this other side now, this is the wheel that normally gets curbed. Absolutely fine. And tire, the tyre tread is fine. The only other thing to mention is a little bit of a scrape on this uh, plastic trim here. You, when you zoom in you can see it, but actually you don't normally notice it. So looking at the back of the car, there's, it's all very clean and tidy in here. There's a very nice uh, little addition here which is this net. So I've released the luggage net so I'll show you underneath. Now if you're not familiar with minis, they don't come with a spare. You either have run flat tyres, and this one does not have run flat tyres, although you could fit them if you wanted to. Uh, it does in fact have a punter repair kit, which is a compressor, which has not been used by the looks of things, and the uh, glue which you put into the tyre before you, can, you blow it back up again, and that's unused as well. So looking at the bonnet, it's very clean under here, and service history wise, this car's just been serviced. So it's just had the oil filter, air filter, uh, oil, of course, and the interior HEPA filter changed, as well as the clutch. Now we did this here in-house, so we can vouch for that. It's a brand new clutch and a complete service. This car shouldn't need touching, I would say, in at least 12 months. The service interval on this car is variable, normally about 16,000 miles. So depending on how many miles you do a year, you shouldn't need to do anything to the car for at least a year. So looking inside the car now, we see that it has this uh, very good condition uh, fabric seating in black. We have piano black on the doors here and further inside. And we have this silver trim around the circular parts of the door and the trim inside. So inside the cabin, there is, as usual with a Mini, the dashboard is dominated by the central speedo. And below the speedo, we have this uh, mag mount, which I've put in place to put your phone on to help obviously with sat-nav and so on. Now you can see, you can take it out if you don't want to. Here we have the air conditioning, and below it, various switches, so uh, electric windows, fog lights, locking the doors and so on. And further down below, we have the auxiliary in for the radio, as well as a USB in, so you can have a memory stick with some music on it and play it through the radio. So as mentioned, inside the car, we have this rather nice piano black finish, and it's my favorite finish, I think, of all of them. And this car has a luggage pack, which means, look, you've got a secret little hideaway in there just to put extra things when you're not, when you don't need them, or we want them hidden away for whatever reason. And of course, you've got the standard glove box, as usual. This car also comes with mood lighting, 
So when we turn the lights on, we have this purple at the moment here on the top of the doors. And by changing this switch here, we can change color from red through to blue and sort of pinkish on in between, pinky orange and so on. So that's the radio itself. You'd think this was the on off button. It actually isn't. The on off button's down here. And now we have the radio. And this is also the volume. This changes channel. You get used to it. I don't think it's that intuitive myself. Now the other thing you can do is we go to tuner, CD, USB and the auxiliary in. And let me show you that. So I've plugged my phone in to the auxiliary in here and I'm just going to play something and it'll play as you can see through the stereo very nicely. There you go. So to start the car you press this button here. So this is the key. You put the key in. You press the clutch. And you press so when you start that all the lights come on, it shows you the next service is due in 16,000 miles, the lights go out, which is what you're looking for, and now the engine's running nicely. Now, on the end of this stalk, there's a button, and this goes through the trip computer. So you can cycle through outside temperature, various information, so if there's any fault on the car, this is where you'd find it. Uh, mileage to empty, average miles per gallon, and so on. Average speed. And the most useful of these, I think, is this one. So the miles per hour is below, and it's a little bit second, it hops up top. So now, below the rev counter, you've got your speed. So you don't have to keep moving across and back again, just to check your road speed. Safety-wise, the car comes with a full complement of airbags. So the obvious one is on the, on the steering here. There's one up there. There's one up there. There's one in there. It says airbag. At the back, it says airbag, airbag, airbag. Then they're in the seats as well. And there's one there. So eight airbags in the car and one in each seat as well, I believe. The safety wise, pretty good for such a small car. Then we have a six speed transmission and it's very slick actually. It's fun to drive, very direct. Dork, we have the rear windscreen wiper and windscreen washer. So the last thing to show you is the Bluetooth hands-free. So if we press the phone symbol here, no, we press the menus and then we can go to telephone. I'm just going to go and pair my, uh, my phone with this device. So here it says search and now it's searching and then here we've got hands-free. So I'm going to press that and now it's asking me to add Yes, passkey, super secret, 1111, OK, so now add it here, pair, and now I'm, I'm not going to actually do that, but of course you can, get it to sync your favourites, and now it's pairing, is active, OK, good, just to prove that it is working, I'm just going to go to my voicemail, and now it's coming through here. And Don't have any new messages. Main menu. To leave a voice message, press two. So to work with your voicemail greetings, press three. And bring it up down on the volume, which is behind the phone there. So there you have it. This is a 2010 Mini One, 1 1.6 petrol. It's got pretty much everything you need on it. You've got Bluetooth hands-free. You can put your music in to the radio via a cable. You've got full service history. It's just been serviced. It's got, just had a brand new clutch. It's got 12 months RAC warranty, and that's not just some cheap old warranty. That's a £2,000 claim limit on that warranty, backed by the RAC. And you get 12 months uh, RAC breakdown cover as well. Bodywork is, it's 90%. I'd say there's a few dinks here and there, but not bad for a 2010 car. Wheels and tyres, superb. And I can really recommend this car. And thank you very much for watching.